There we go. There's the engine bay, guys. Right. This looks terrible, and so does the airbox. The brake pedal is rock solid. You can't move that, and the accelerator pedal is rock solid. The clutch moves. It doesn't look too bad at all. Not too bad at all. I'm going to make a little mix of chemicals and I'm going to take the spark plugs out and pour some liquid over the tops of the pistons. Acetone in uh, paraffin. Looks like Lucas Age. Put some of that in there. Lovely jubbly bit more. There you go, mate. I think the clutch is free. Need to do the brakes. Uh, she's a driver, you know? Next is the carburetor. Let's do the carburetor. Okay. Alright, that's just our curiosity. Okay, so that means, okay, well that will come off fully. Uh, let me put that down there. Carb should come off. So. Oh, oh it's got a bit of old fuel in it. Okay. Oh dear, I've got quite a bit of fuel in this. And uh, that, doesn't look too clever. I'll probably have to strip this out. Let's go and do that now. Bloody hell. Yeah, there's a little bit of corrosion right there. That roughness. There we go. That's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little tickle. What was that? Okay, here we go, guys. We're back to life with that one. Oh, lovely. in case I damage the flu. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Oh, that looks sweet. Okay. Right. Put that fuel hose in there. Turn the pump on. So far, no leaks, which is great. So we can see if the pump jet works. Yes, it does. Let's see what turns that's at. Oh, okay. Half one, one half two, two and a half three, three and a half four. Well, man, I don't think they tuned this car. That's probably why the, the spark plugs were black. Half, one, one half, two, two. Look, oh, the car's moving, man. I need to put the handbrake on. Alright, I'll put the handbrake. Oh, it's, it's, it moved. It moved. That's a good thing, dude. Mm -hmm. Alright, I think we're going to have this started in about half an hour, mate. Easily. We've gone round once, put a mark on the belt. Uh, so that's one revolution, now we need the other revolution to make sure that everything is back 
where it was when we first started. Is it dripping? Oh. The, the dizzy's dripping. Are you sure it's coming from the dizzy, dude? It's from here. Yeah. Why is that damp, though, right there? No idea. Can you rotate the well, engine? Unless that's it there. Unless that's oh, pumping that's the Oh, that's the fuel... That's the fuel pump, man. Oh. Yeah, the fuel, that's, it's just old fuel. It's old fuel then, isn't it? Well, the pump's working then, isn't it? Yeah. It smells freaking nice, doesn't it? Man, that's going to freaking crank over on its own, dude. Do you want me to just start it? That's right. <laughs> so one of these needs to go to the starter motor. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that might not be good enough. But let's, let's try it. Right. Why you even got this right? I got these the fucking wrong way around. Yeah, dang it. Right. Okay. Is the key in the ignition? Key's in the ignition, dude. Right, turning now. Absolutely nothing. Good to have Uncle Tony around, wouldn't it? Yeah, we'd have his jump started in second. That's brilliant. Are you right, dude? No, but do you leave me eyes to go Sorry, get anything mate. else? I think I did say, didn't I say that we're trying well, to see if the engine will turn? Yeah, but you don't think... Fucking you know, hell, man. Ray, Ray always pays for it, man. Sorry, dude. Do you want me to get you an eye wash? No, all uh, right. Would you like a cup of coffee? No, I've got to get back to work, dude. All right, sorry, dude. All right, he's just got overwhelding. Fucking okay, hell. <laughs> he's just got over a welding flash, and now he's been blasting petrol in his face. Let's give these a brush. Push. This Bush took a trial. Bush took a trial. Yeah, fantastic. Off the canteen, unbelievable. Yeah. Drop bigger. Nice. Through the hole. Prime the carb. It is indeed. <clears throat> All right. No. Mm -hmm. That's the old fuel we've pumped out so far. Mmm. Let me smell it, man. Oh. I am in the process of establishing ignition parameters, which I'm well, well qualified for. Right, just uh, put it, turn it to the where the red light comes on. Okay, that's 11.8 volts. Right, try cranking it, dude. Go. Is that it? We're not doing something right, man. God dang it. Okay, the other side. Right, can you switch the ignition on, please, Gus? Have you had this dizzy cap off yet? Yeah. Once, yeah. Ready? Yeah. anything you haven't adjusted these have you no okay i don't know how to <laughs> but yeah uh, that's some juice dude ready yeah hmm <laughs> nurse bug can't even get a nurse Spark. No spark. Is that, is that supposed to go up and down? Well, that's what I was wondering, but this, do, solid. this does so that might not. Okay. Still four hundred volts. Yeah, they're not making the connection. You need to clean the points up. Okay. Let's see what we got now. Ooh. Same again, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's less. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's going up and down, yeah. Uh, one volt. One volt. One volt. One and a half. Thirteen. Fourteen. Three. One. One. So that's like going up and down, yeah. Just hang on. Yeah, it's at one volt at the minute. Now we 14 go. at the minute. Now we're getting the spark. 
No, no. Fucking wicked, what, man. What yeah, 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 I'm watching, I'm watching. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I got, I saw the spark, man. Yeah. Yeah. Mission on tanking, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got spark. Well, did you do the earth earlier on? Doesn't matter, really. On does the it? bit you cleaned up, because it was the only place it would do it. Right. Yeah, yeah, we got spark, man. Needs more fuel. <laughs> a bit wet. Mm, not really. Give it a clean. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, alright, okay. So it sounded to me like something was something. Something's. I can't wait to hear this part. I really can't. Ready? Okay. Oh, well, nearly. Yeah. You need to empty the bottle again. Did you hear that? Yeah. Did you hear that there? <laughs> Very liquid. It's actually brake cleaner. You like my lid technique? It's fucking beautiful, isn't it? Please go. Yeah. 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 You think maybe more fuel, dude? Or yes, yeah, put a bit more fuel down. <laughs> I don't think we've got enough fuel. Okay, try again. Yeah. Oh, nearly. <laughs> oh, fucking hell! Did you see that? Yeah. With that close. <laughs> Did you hear it then, Pip? I don't think it's spinning it quick enough. Let's walk. I don't, yeah, I don't think the battery's spinning it quick enough. I might need him to rev that engine. Carl, can you rev the engine a bit, mate? Okay, I'm going to crank in three, two, one. Oh. Okay, that's the best we've had it. Carl, did you hear that? Ready? Okay. Do it again, do what you did again. Ready? Yeah. God damn it, should we, should we call it a day? I think we'll give it a rest. Alright, yeah. Fuck. Well, it's not going swimmingly well. Um, I've charged the battery. The battery's good now, but I've got a feeling that there's something else preventing the engine from starting. Right. Okay. It says seven on it. Seven DC. That's not it. That could be it. Okay, so you screw this in, and then this connects like an airline. Full throttle, take the ignition coil off, crank it. Bob's your uncle, fan is your aunt. Okay, I've wedged the throttle full open with that piece of wood between the handbrake. So I've got number four connected. Crank it and see what happens. Come on, brother. Okay. Okay, that's not great. Oh, now it's dead. Ah, oh, that's why. That is why. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, you stay there, mate, all right. I might be doing something wrong. No, I think I'm doing something wrong, guys. Well, it looks as though either the piston rings are worn, the fitting I'm using is not the right one and air's escaping, or the valves are stuck open, which I think is unlikely, but you never know. So I will try to make sure I've got the right fitting and then I pop the rocker cover off and hopefully um, 
the engine's still got life in it and we don't need to rip it out and rebuild it. So, onwards and upwards. Chaps, I think I might have worked out what the problem is. Wrong adapter, doesn't fit properly. Let's go and have a look. Okay, hit it. Okay, all right. That's 50 PSI. <laughs> I'm sure it's meant to be a bit higher than that. Uh, okay, to crank that. Okie dokie. That's an impressive 75. Hit it. Okay. That's a 25 PSI, that one. <laughs> right. We're going to give it another go. Mano's just sorted out the plugs again, so they're all ready. Here he's going to put some fuel in. Ready? Okay. Ready? Yeah. What do you have to say about that, dude? Even with low compression as it has, We've got spark, we've got fuel, we think we've got air, and air is the thing that you pretty much always have, unless a mouse has gone in and built a nest on each port and it's not taking air. Dude, what? I've just noticed something. What's that? That's oh, not on shit. there. Oh, well done, dude. That, that, that's going to help. Things, I think, man. <laughs> well done, dude. Damn it! Go again. One, two, three. That's doing nothing, man. I should probably lift this to sweep all that shit off. Uh huh. I'll go and grab a brush, yeah? Okay, yeah. dude. What do you want? You want a, a brush? You want a spark plug wrench? Yeah. Uh, flathead screwdriver. Make sure which way it is to rotate. Clock clockwise, isn't it? Yeah. Anti clockwise. Oh, the point's got. I said, I said to come off, mate. Yeah, it's Well, yeah, like that. Well, they don't look seized. They all look. Uh, they look all right, Tom. You can, you can hear that. Can you hear that air escaping? Hmm? Did you hear that? Right. No valves are stuck. No valves are stuck, man. Yeah, get a bang. Two more frigging taps with this special tool that I've got. Too special. Yay! It's all right now, I see. Well, that's something, isn't it? So it's only down to rings now, isn't it? Yeah. Can't be anything else. Can it? Well, you know, it can always be something always else. Be something else. Can right, you pour some oil down that fucking rocker? What thickness would you like? Anything in there, it's just a minute, you know. Alright. Tips have been just to lube them valves up. About that much? That'll do, yeah. No, we have got too much shit in here. It's going past the rings up. So it's up to there. That's what I'm thinking, man. I think I think I overfilled it. You want a rag? <laughs> I think you want a rag, Tom. Okay, old oil coming out. I'm off out. Would you reckon? Yeah, that? spot on. Yeah? Yeah. Nothing weird about that at all. Look at that oil, Tom. Look at that. It looks like still, a mirror. Looks pretty normal. Hmm? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I reckon some two stroke petrol mix. You know, have you got a. Yeah, I do. I reckon we can put a load of that down the balls. So what, what is the, the idea of doing that then? What does that do? Well that will make like a pissy fucking thing with oil in it, with two stroke oil in it. Yeah. If the rings are stuck, yeah. the petrol, because it makes it thin, will run down the side of the fucking balls. Yeah. And because it's got two stroke in, it's designed to burn on, you know what I mean? Right. And that will lube it up enough, maybe, 
the bar pile of clubs. Too much, you know what I mean? It's normal oil. So you think because there was that much oil as well in the bottom, it was coming back up past the piston, do you reckon? No. no. I think the rings were seized. You think the rings are seized? Okay. You know, this is just a way of, you know what I mean? Getting them free. If you put oil in and soak it, yeah. it'll just, as soon as you spin over, just oil the plugs and you'll have your spark. Mm. With a two-stroke petrol mix, mm. you've got it. It's liable to be pop. Yeah. If it mm. goes pop, we might get it. Get a runner. I'm <laughs> oh. seven fucking generous. Okay. Nine. How's that? Not that well. That was alright. So. That's a rich mixture, isn't it? Two stroke, en two stroke engine oil. Uh, whatever. Yeah. We'll leave that for a bit. Oh, fucking, do we have to wait now? Okay. Do, do a bit of rock. What about the firing order? Do you want me to find the firing order? Firing order, and we'll check it. Alright. One, two, four, three. Where is he? One, two, four, three. One. Two. Now, so this will probably spunk some fuel out. Oh, shit, man. Fucking hell, yeah. That's good. Well, at least it's holding, it's holding the petrol up, isn't it? Isn't that a good sign? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's get the other two up. There's your one. Number four, I know, yeah? That, that's that's num oh, number four there. Yeah. Should we put some more into that? That's a good point. Oh, oh. fucking hell, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so that's squares. <squished. laughs> yeah. Now we've got a lot of petrol knocking about now, boy. Fucking brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, that's got to be a good sign, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, if it's coming back out the top, that means it's not going down through. That's so right, man. That's right. Which means the rings are doing what they're supposed to yeah. do. You know what I mean? All right, coffee time. Yeah, okay. well, be lucky. Okay. Try it. Crank it. Go on. Ah oh, man, this is red hot, Tom. Yeah, yeah, I reckon you do that connection. Yeah? You lose your power there. Alright. Fucking hell. Yeah. Yeah, we're losing that much power through there. Get up, you can say, you know what I mean? Yeah. Say, getting the current through there, yeah. That says FOMO Co on it, man. FOMO Co. It's got it, it's got it. Okay. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Let's do this now. Let's try it here. Mm -hmm. Let's try it. Wait. Let's try that. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds sweet as a nut. Oh god, we've got fuel losing. Oh shit, is it gone on the floor? No. What's that awful crack cracking sound that it does when it's about to fire? It's just going from out here. You'd, you'd expect some smoke or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is firing. It's firing, but we're not getting any kind of signs. Not even a backfire, man. Yeah, yeah. We should be getting a backfire, shouldn't we, with all this? Yep. Yeah. Try again. Yep. Yeah. That fired. That actually sounded like an engine. Again? For a moment. It right? did then, didn't it? It was so close to us. That was the closest we've had it. Well, it, it tips them in. Put the plug back in. Tips them yeah. in with the throttle open. Just get it right in the hole. <laughs> right in the hole. <laughs> What is that smell? Oh, it's the starter motor overheating. Yeah, yeah. It's like a fuel. It's like a fuel, isn't it? Do you reckon a mouse has built a nest somewhere and it's only going down one port? Once again. Yeah. It's going to go then, that one. Yeah. That's 
sounds good, man. That sounds all right. That sounds good. It's all right. Oh my god. How that... the hell did that happen? Man? Oh yes. Again. Yeah. 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 Again? Yeah. What's, what's that sound, mate? What's Back going on? Firing through the car. Yeah. Again? Yeah. Wow. Well, some, we had flames then. Some cool sounds, man. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, that definitely sounds like fuel, doesn't it? Yeah, well, we're probably empty now, are we? Ready? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Again, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Again? Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He wants to go now. He wants to go, man. He's making all the noises. Ready? Yep. Yeah. It's a runner, isn't it? <laughs> well done, dude. Well done. Well done. It's a runner. Found it. Is it connected? Yes. It's just falling off. Ooh. There we it's go. Good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's rebuild it and put it back on the car. Yeah. Well, she's purring like a kitten. What you got there, dude? Got a Swedish, uh, no, one of them. <laughs> right, that is our fuel hose into the carburetor. And then, we turn the little tap on. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. So let's catch you some of that. It's clearing up, dude. It's definitely clearing. All right, Cal. Yeah, switch it off, dude. We're gonna go for it, mate. We're gonna go for gold. For, oh, there they are, dude. Is that it? I believe there's eight mil hose. Two ticks, man. Yeah, so that will work. Far away, dude. Is that is it for off the accelerator? Oh yeah, okay, so definitely off the accelerator. <laughs> okay, that feels good, mate. Right, Gavla, take it out for a spin. Remember, there's no brakes on it, mate. Uh, the lights are on the switch on your right, aren't they? Yeah, one works. There we go. Possible with the rear. Got a full house back here. Oh, even the number plate light. Gavla, press the brake. Oh, we don't have brakes, do we? <laughs> All right, let, let. Well, somehow the second light's popped on as well. Let it roll back a bit. Keep a bit more, keep going. You can straighten her up a bit now. <coughs> no freaking way, man. Oh my, I can't believe how well that thing works. Yeah, and you've got all working. All the lights are working, working. Bible, we haven't even really? touched them. What, bro, it's in a while.
that was great. The accelerator is really stiff. Yeah, he's um, Clutch is all right. Yeah. Gearbox is flapping around, man. I think it might need some attention. Yeah. Uh, but uh, do the instrument gauges work? You've got what? something there, dude, haven't you? You know what that one does. And, oh, oh, it's the oh, internal oh, light. Oh, yeah. Hey, Gav, try your indicators, mate. Other side? Okay. Oh, oh whoa, 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 that, that's working, dude. That's working. Yeah, there that, that's working as well. Needs a bit of contact cleaner. Yeah, we've got a green flashy light. There is it. Oh, dude, this is magic. Like that, one. That's go. it. Okay. Okay, good. So those are on. Okay, right, so, so you've got on. indicators and lights at the front. Yeah, we got indi hang on, indicator on the left and the back. Do the other side. Okay, that yeah, that's <laughs> you want main beam you say? Yeah, I've got main beam. Let's have a look. Yeah. Off the main beam's working as well. Try the try the horn. Try the it's the push thing on the side, yeah? No horn. Okay. Well, a lot of it's working. Not bad for a 1969 car, is it? Are you happy with it, dude? Yeah, it's just so... That's it, Gav's, Gav's eating super oil for the next few months it's there. It's now stopped going, indicating... Oh, no, there we go. Yeah? Does yeah, it no, need a bit of coaxing, does it? Yes, yeah, I think the connection... You say the horn's not working? Yeah, it's not good. Oh. There it is. <laughs> 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 Cool. It's all starting to get back into life, man. No, it stopped again. Oh, no, it Right, should we do that hokey pokey to see if we can push this one out? Yeah, this is the hole we need to yeah. block in it. Yep. Is it, is it moving? Yeah, it's moving, man. Take your time with it. Please. It's liking it. Oh, it's liking it. Get yeah, something there. There's no residual pressure in that, dude, is there? Oh, dude, it's come out. Look at that. Wow. You're going to do it? Yes. Keep your eyes 
on the cross. Come on, matey. Since I'm a qualified uh, electrical engineer, which is my specialty, this should be a five minute job. Oh, you know, those sounds that it was making are to do with the fact that it's not getting enough power to spark it to run the engine. Because we proved it. Do you want to drive it or shall I drive it? No, I think Beauty. Ladies and gents, this is where I'm going to terminate the video. The revival of the Capri, what we wanted to do, we've done. So it's a rolling project. Please like and subscribe. Share to anyone that you think might enjoy this content. Consider buying a, one of our caps or t-shirts or hoodies to support our channel. It's been lovely making this video and uh, we'll see you next time around. If you like this content, Subscribe. See you later, guys. Dudes, this car is for sale. So, it's the second owner. I'm the second owner. The guy I bought it off of has had it since 1969, brand new. So on the logbook, it says one previous owner. I am the current owner. Anyway, so it's got no carpet. Um, but other than that, it's fully loaded. It needs full restoration. That's going to be expensive, it's going to take time. Um, there's a lot of rot on the body, so it, you guys are going to, going to want to um, take that into consideration. Um, but it's all original, it's got about 115,000 miles, but it could be double, I don't know. That's what the clock says. 1600 Capri, 1969, it's a very early Capri guys, it was made in... Um, I think January 1969, I think it's older than Kate, my other Capri. So it's a very early English right-hand drive, Mark 1, 1969, Ford Capri 1600L. Um, all the tyres are good. Uh, the brakes, right, I did put, the, I restored the calipers, but I haven't bled them properly, so the, the pedal goes right the way down. Well, it does stop a little bit, but anyway, the brakes need full overhaul and also they're binding at the rear. So, brakes need doing. Engine's a runner. Um, I haven't done a compression test again since uh, the beginning of the video, uh, but I think it's probably going to be a bit better than it was. Uh, it, it feels like it's got poke and pull and all that. Even with the binding brakes, it accelerates freely. Um, the bonnet latch is... The cable is broken, so I've put a wire at the front so you can open the latch and lift the bonnet. Um, 
What else? Anything else worth saying? It's not that rotten, guys, yeah? If you know your Capris, it's an awesome example. Um, so yeah, I'm looking at about six to seven thousand pounds. So if any of you want it or know someone that might be interested in this particular Capri, put them in contact with me. I'm gonna put my email address in the description so you can contact me directly. <clears throat> uh, what else? Yeah, the carpet's missing. The seats are beautiful. Um, the under dash thing, you know, the what you call the parcel shelf, that could be repaired, restored. It's in, but it's, you know, they get a bit wavy and a bit manky. Um, that's it, it's had a new alternator, a carb rebuild. I only did a very temporary carb rebuild. What else has it had? There's something else in it, I can't remember. Battery needs sorting out, because uh, I've got a battery on it now, but it's too big and the, it spills over the tray. I've secured it, but it'll need a new battery. So yeah, welding's the job with this, guys. It's going to need a lot of welding, um, but it's beautiful. Anyway, if you want it, look at the description below, my email address, fire it away, let's get talking. Later, guys, and thanks for watching. See you later.